Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm very, very proud to be unboxing for the first time in Australasia Moon's brand new Neo Series 240i integrated amplifier. This much anticipated junior and entry level integrated amplifier uh, has a feature set that's it's acclaimed already. I mean, I'll be honest, um, to see a hand-built product out of Canada coming to market in New Zealand so cheaply, or relatively cheaply, with such an excellent feature set is, is brilliant to see. So, let's have a look. Moon. Canadian made, by the way. Um, as we spin this around, you will see that we've got branding on two sides and model and serial number information on two ends. The box itself is sealed with um, gluey tape, uh, paper tape, I guess you'd call that, on both the bottom and the top. Opening this is easy, just need a craft knife. So, with any of these things that are sealed with uh, paper tape, um, the process is very straightforward. Run the tape across it and away you go. Um, when, when you open the top, I think it's a good idea to sort of apply a little bit of upward pressure so that the knife blade sits a lot further up and there's no risk of touching or cutting anything underneath. Holding this down, having a look, you'll see that the packaging for this product is also excellent. A closed cell foam on the Now, in here we've got a substantial user manual. I'm going to set that aside for a moment because I want to pause and show you this. Each Moon amplifier comes with an inspection across each station that has been involved in its manufacture. Every person involved clicks the accessories and the serial numbers and all of those types of things are ticked off in each way. There's a basic information sheet associated with just all of those important stuff you need, but this is probably the best. It's one of those things that ensures this handmade product reaches you with everything you need and kind of a seal that people have touched this, real people have touched this and built it with pride. So, accessory pack. It's actually relatively bulky, it's a Ziploc bag. You'll see why when I open this up. Inside the bag is the accessories. So grabbing a big fistful, there's the owner manual. The user manual, which is bilingual of course, uh, I would assume French and English. There's a slimline remote control, beautiful quality remote, lovely look and feel, and two uh, little uh, watch batteries to, to run it. There's a control cable, this is actually really long, it's a 3.5mm mono control cable, um, enabling this to be linked with any number of different devices. There's a moon mine, there's uh, preamps, paramps, all of those types of things can be used for a control point. So they've given you one. I'm going to spin this box over and take off the product. Very carefully lower it down. And in classic style, get rid of the box. Here we've got the New Zealand IEC power cord. It's a good quality one. It's nice and long. Uh, it's got a good look and feel. They certainly haven't scrimped on that. There's uh, obviously a bit of copper in there. The product itself is quite heavy, despite its sort of entry level wattage, it's 40 or 50 watts, something like that, uh, it's still very heavy. And the uh, closed cell foam ends help to protect this product in transit. You can see the packaging they haven't scrimped on, there's lots of foam around it, and it's very easy to see that they're looking after this product for us. The bag itself is relatively straightforward to remove. I'm just going to prep it a little bit by rolling it forward and then spin it over. So the bag is um, is is logoed with Sim Audio, um, which of course is known. And in the bag is a final large bag of desiccant uh, to keep this thing dry and free of any corrosion and transit. This particular model comes in the optional two-tone with these little silver wings. It uh, looks beautiful on the shelf, looks lovely in people's homes, so hence why we've ordered it in this sort of special order. Um, looking at the product for the first time, we are seeing, first of all, a rotary encoder for its volume control. It's got a lovely look and feel to it. Uh, it's an aluminium volume control. Beside it is a six and a quarter inch headphone socket, 
and a 3.5 mm uh, stereo input for the purposes of a, a portable device of some kind. Above that is the uh, setup and OK buttons associated with controlling and setting up the unit. Uh, inputs can be renamed or reallocated, and a combination of the setup and volume control acts as a sort of a chog control to enable you to navigate through the menus and set things up appropriately. The uh, dot matrix display has got multiple um, multiple lines of information. Uh, it's big when in operation and little during setup, so it enables you to see where you are and how you're navigating through it. Looking across, we've got the input up and down. We've got the display button, which enables you to not only turn off the display, but bring it up, for example, or something like that, and a main mute. Above that and in the middle is the standby button, offset a little bit to ensure that you can see it easily. If I raise this uh, up from the rear so you can see inside, it's got a very, very well appointed toroidal power supply, adding obviously to its weight. The amplification stage is spread across this side and the circuit board and, and main control sit, be sit behind that. As I spin it round slowly, you'll see um, the extruded aluminium sides. And at the back, you'll see again just how well appointed this product is, particularly for its price point. Looking at it, we've got a dedicated phono stage and with that a ground. We've got analog inputs, which are simply labelled A1 and A2, again because you can allocate and name them using the setup menu. Uh, you've got pre-out, should you use this as a pre-amplifier, and then of course the digital and coaxial digital inputs, Toslink optical and coax. The USB input is asynchronous, um, driver software is easy to use and um, yeah, I mean it's a very easy to set up product as far as streaming off a laptop or a computer. There's at the top the, the main outputs, left and right, obviously. This doesn't have A and B speakers and neither need it to. Uh, so it's just a single set of output binding posts. Beneath it are the control, which relates to the 3.5mm control cable we saw, both in and out. And RS-232 control for two-way feedback associated with uh, automation systems or something similar. There's a fuse or barrel design fuse and the main IEC power socket. And beside that, a little switch for the main power on and off. So, spinning this around and seeing this beautiful piece from Moon, their, their brand new Neo 240i digital input integrated amplifier designed by Sim Audio. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.